Are, are you related to her? Okay, you can go and sit down. Please come. How old? I know. Ah, ah how old were you when you passed? You're just here, see? You saw her photograph now, here? Yeah. When they, at the beginning, right? Say, sorry. Yeah. Now, ha, l listen to this. Wow. The exam is written by the written by the University of Cambridge mathematics, not just GCSE. It's fab, and she's not related to, to her, and she still wrote the exam. And you saw that in news. Okay, uh, please, can you come? Um, who can give me the times? Yeah, she is different, right? How old were you when you passed the GCSE? Eight. Okay, how old were you when you uh, um, passed your 11 plus and entrance exam to secondary school? Um, the, the first one you did? Um, yes, okay, now it's called 11 plus. That means the exam that people 11 years old or going to be 11 write. Right? She was nine, she wrote the exam and she passed the exam. Right? Her photograph is the one that was in the Sunday Times newspaper. Uh, how old were you when you passed your IGCSE? You know the one you did with Jonathan? No, you, you've forgotten. She's too busy, she's forgotten. Now, she's in a secondary school where you pay money to go to, and she has scholarship. You know, I was showing you. Uh, okay, here she is. Here she is. Can you see? Uh, this is mass GCSE for girls 8 and 9. Normally, it's for 16. And yes, 16 year old fail. Do you understand? Come, 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 come and see. Can you see the two of them now? See her and her. So, what I'm trying to say that max is a game, reading is a game. If you understand the game, you're better than the whole world. And they'll put you in the newspaper. You're a genius, you're a genius, you're a genius, you're a genius. Look at here, it's here. Mass attended and encouraged. See, maths as a game is in the Times. How many of you are in the audience that, are, that, are, that came for the program? I want you to Google this in your time. Hello? Excuse me, you and you. I want you to Google this so that when your mom comes in, you can tell your mom, all right? That you're too old to write GCSE. They should give you A level or something. <laughs> Tell your mom you're not going to write GCSE because you, you have seen six-year-old that are writing it. Okay, she she is a world record holder for IGCSE. It's called International GCSE. Nobody, nobody on the planet, dead or alive, has ever attempted that exam at that age. And now, you might think, oh, she's only good at math. Do you play music? Yeah. Which which music? Which instrument do you play? What grade? Did you hear that? Well, where's, where's the year 11 that left? Because if you learn to learn quicker, you learn everything quicker. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Your music, and you do sports? Yeah. What sports do you do? Basketball. It makes me look stupid. <laughs> Some people only good at maths, and not good at music, and not good at football, and not good at sports. So she has the best result in maths, and now I'm playing football. She also plays football more than me. And then when I play music, she plays music more than me. She's a genius! That's what everybody says, but it's not true. It's the training that you go through. It's the tools you use. It's the techniques you use. It's the technology you use. It's the tutelage you have. So, uh, uh, and, and Sophia, do you want to come through, please? Sophia, where's the lady that was afraid to put the children for try genius? She's left. Okay, Sophia, you've been on child genius, right? Yeah. And, and what um, 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 category did you get to? And she was one of the youngest. She wasn't even in child genius. The national competition where they bring children from all over to come and do competition. They spell big words that make your head it gives you headache. If you are a graduate, it gives you headache. But she's been on that competition. Did you do um, a memory training? For the deck of cards that they, they gave you, did, did you practice anything that they, the, the, the training they gave you before the, the? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So, if if I see people and they say it's dumb, I know that it's a label. You know a label? Mm -hmm. Somebody put it there. You can remove it. Anybody that you see is dumb, it's dumb. There's a label. And you? Can you come through, please? How old are you? 
Uh, how old were you when you passed your GCSE? Mm. GCSE is high school graduation. Oh, come, 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 you're not finished. <laughs> she, she wrote um, uh, many schools, top schools in the country. The top school in the country, right? She didn't do, you know, in primary school, you're supposed to spend six years, right? One, two, three, four, five, six years. After six years in her school, people write the exam and fail. But she wrote the exam when she was in the fifth. She's not done the sixth year. She wrote the exam and got 100%. And they gave her scholarship to the best schools that, are, that the princess, um, the, the prince, princess, um, yeah, duchess, that the prince, the royalty go to. Wow. And you pay money to go there. You pay good money to pay there. And she pays absolutely nothing. They are begging her to come, like I was saying. saying if you do, everybody wants you. And the brother, the brother, the brother is not here. The brother also passed the exam. So passing the exam, learning quickly, doing anything at the speed, is not a function of your age. Like now, you can sit down and discuss with them. There are no more children. They play. Oh, so which instrument do you play? Piano. Do you hear that play the piano? Which sport do you do? I thought if you're good at maths, you only book, 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 book. Look at how many sports he's doing. So you are normal, it's just that the way you do things and the speed at which you do things is phenomenal. And you, she, she was on BBC, you watch, come, come through. I'll share the video, her video with you. She was interviewed on BBC, World Service. Um, Peter, can you pull, pull her out? She, she, we're going to play the um, video tape with you. If you follow us on Facebook, I hope you're taking note, you, 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 you. Next year you have to write the exam. You, you're looking at me, you have to smile. You have to smile, and you have to smile. And uh, uh, Alexia, do you, can I borrow you? Oh, come for Marco. Oh, Marco. Okay, that's Marco. How old were you when you were in GCSE? Nine. And oh, they're not the same family, so it's not G. They're different parents, different family. This different, this different, different. So it's not G. Right? So it just means that we have been given the wrong tools. That's why we get the wrong results. Okay? So we'll put our hands together. Let, let's laugh for them. Let's laugh for them. Okay, if you have any questions, their parents are at the You can ask the questions. You can talk to them. They're open, they're free. They know what is possible. They know what the school has told them is possible. So you can decide to follow the school's way and be very slow. Or you can look all of them, all of them. You, you're ready? If you're ready, you can play the BBC ones. Can say the reason why I wanted them to come is because if you see it on Sky TV, you still think that they, they must be different. They must be phenomenal. No, no, no. They just have phenomenal training. So, um, if you, uh, where's where is uh, William, the big William? Has he pulled out of the school? Oh, there's free parking at the back, so you can drop people and either you or him should stay for the afternoon session. If you can stay, that's fine. If not, I'll work on William later on when we do the training. So uh, I want all of you to know that you are signing for an authentic program that has worked for anybody and works for everybody. And if it's not working for you, the only reason is because nobody has shown you step by step Step by step. If I bring a cat here and I put a cat here and the cat takes seven steps, you'll be at that wall. If I put a dog here and it takes seven steps, you'll be at that wall. If I put a man here, it takes seven steps, you'll be at that wall. If I put a woman here, so it's not the wall, it's the steps that leads to the wall. That's why a dog, if you have a dog, we can teach the dog how to pass this, yes. Mathematics, yes. Because when you get to the airport, it's a dog that sniffs and says, oh, this is a terrorist, this is a tourist. We can also show, okay, yeah, that was the BBC, that's how, that's how on BBC. Again, I'll send this to everybody. So, 1706 GMT, the BBC World Service. Coming up, a father who's developed a teaching method that has helped all five of his children get into Oxford University. He says he can help children develop the same learning techniques, particularly in math. Now, students in many parts of the world are preparing to start their next academic year in September. For many 16 to 17 year olds, they may be embarking on higher school certificates 
A-levels when he was on the International Baccalaureate. But imagine being a primary school child between the age of, say, 7 and 13, taking these exams and passing well. Well, it's a massive feat that has been achieved by students of the Excellence in Education Academy, run by Professor Chris Amatidon. All five of his children achieved outstanding marks in their O-levels and A-level exams while still in primary school, and they've gone on to university. Well, Chris Amatidon has passed these skills down to other children, particularly in the area of East London. And he joined me in the studio with two of his young students who've just passed maths GCSE. It's nine-year-old Francis and 13-year-old Deborah. She began by telling me how the professor helped them master maths. I found it something not hard like what other people around my age might expect it to be, but I just saw it as a subject which I can enjoy. People say practice makes perfect, and if you can apply that to maths, you can really see it as a game. Hmm, okay. So, Professor, you've taught them well, <laughs> they've got the answers down back for a start, but what is the excellence in education methodology? How do you convince nine-year-olds like Francis or 13-year-olds like Deborah that maths is a game? It's true, isn't it? I wish I had a mouse here, I would have clicked on online and pulled up Manga High and said, okay, you have a, a robot moving across, and the second robot coming, and the third robot coming, and they ask you how many robots do you have? You just type in three and hit three, okay. and it says, "Wow, good." Can we and pause this? Okay, we can we pause this now. Uh, I, I, I just wanted the parents and, coming from that. and the employers. If you are an employer here, your staff they are reading at a very slow speed. I know that. I know that. So if you have a business and you train your team, they will outperform every other person in your team. I know that. I'm not asking you. That's why a lot of corporate uh, companies send um, um, their staff for speed reading and accelerated learning. So if you are a normal human being, it means that you are abnormally slow at reading. So I know that. That's the reason why we give people this tool. And that's why we believe that technique should be available. So uh, um, um, those of you that went for coffee, I hope you're back now. And if you had a passage to read, you need to come back, come to, come to the front, and then we'll start the second half of things, and uh, we'll just play part of the uh, music, if you can play, let's play some music now. This far, it's a good thing you've watched the video this far, it shows how much you're interested in investing in your future, and we're pleased that we're partners with you in this journey of success, it's guaranteed success. So now that you've heard that video, you've watched the segment of the video, you need to take action, you can't just go to the next section, no, you must not, you have to email us. Email us what? Three new things you learned from the last segment. Three. One, two, three, three. Just list it. One, two, three. Bullet points. Then you go on and write five different lessons you gain. Lessons you gain. So you write it, number one, and then you write a little paragraph. And then number two, they like, don't worry about your expression. Don't worry about your English. We are not interested in your linguistic ability. We are interested in the foundations of changing your life. So you write five points, and then you explain one, two, three, or five, and then the last part of this assignment is the implementation bit. You now write two things you are going to do differently based on the information you have. So how are you going to impact your current habit? How are you going to develop brand new habits? Because we, you, you've heard me explain this before. People get information that's destroyed in here. People get inspiration, it gets into their hand, they're, they're ready to go. Then they have to have instruction. This is where most people fail. Once you have instruction, then you have implementation before you have impact. <laughs> I know, it's, you can't find that anywhere. You can't get it to read anywhere. This is a product of years of our own research. And it's various students we work with that are now captains of in industry. So I want you to do that. I repeat, thanks for working through the video. Now, prove to me that you've heard what was in that video by writing three things you knew. I mean, three things you just learned up now, right? Three things you discovered, or three things, to, one, two, three. And after writing the three things, you know what you need to do? You need to write five different lessons learned, gained. Five, number one, number two, number three. Number one, then you write a little paragraph. Number two, you write a little paragraph. Number three, you write a little paragraph. And you get to the fifth one. 
Once you've done the fifth, mm -hmm, you now turn the page over. I'll go to the next page if you use the Word document. All right. Two things you are going to do different. So two things you would do with your life. Two things you would do with your work, with your thinking. Better go back and watch the video if you can. Two things, action points. You must put the action point so that you do it differently. And then email all of this to us. I've told you before, we are here to partner with you. Just email it to, to the email on the, scroll, on the scroll now. Email it to us. Email it to us and we will hold your hands and we will guide you to be able to support you. I thank you for investing so much in your development. Thank you for inviting us to partner with you in getting to that journey. I mean, in, 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 on this journey of success and making sure we get to our destination that is guaranteed success. So thank you. Continue watching and keep, keep, keep being in touch because we're here for you and we're here to help, support and encourage you.